हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट टाइप कन्वर्जन ओके और अदर सम पीपल से इट टाइप कास्टिंग सो वी कैन जस्ट हैव अ लुक व्हाट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस टाइप कन्वर्जन और टाइप कास्टिंग ओके सो आई एम राइटिंग द सेकंड नेम आउट बिकॉज़ इफ समटाइम्स यू फॉरगॉट सो यू हैव अ सेकंड नेम आउट देयर सो इट इज टाइप कास्टिंग और टाइप कन्वर्जन व्हाट हैपेंस इन दिस इट इज वी कैन से इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्जन ऑफ वन टाइप ऑफ अ डेटा टू अनदर डेटा टाइप लाइक we have seen or you can say in data type to double data type or rather you can say to float data type to you can say to short data type it is what conversion of one data type to another is known as the process of type casting okay so here basically we have our two major categories of type casting let's look them into depth okay so the first one i have first type of type casting we have is known as an implicit type casting implicit or some people say it as widening type casting okay so what happens in this it is the conversion which is done by the programmer okay it is done without the help of the programmer like it will be done by the compiler only the programmer don't have to intervene okay the programmer don't need to put his or her efforts or the coder or the programmer need not to put the efforts it is done by the compiler itself okay so it is just simply the conversion let's see what happens in this is let's say i want a cat data type ch and let's say this is having a value a now what happen i put another data type as in d and here i assign ch you can see that here ch is having a value which is of character data type as informed okay and now here the value is what integer data type so the conversion how d will be able to store this character data type because d is assigned as integer value and you know integer value can be only stored in d because we have seen here int has been written so what happens in this case we will have type conversion or conversion of one data type to another so what happens this character will character c a what is the sky value of a a is stored in the computer memory at 65 position okay so what will happen in ch it will take the integer value of a so computer has a as 65 so here it will store 65 in d so this is known as type casting the character was converted into an integer data type and that was stored so what happen in implicit type conversion the pro program is directly converting one data type into another and it is done without the invasion without the programmer the programmer don't need to put his or her extra efforts okay so what happens a short data type can be converted into character a character can be converted into int and then int can be converted into long and long can be converted into float float can be converted into double so what is happening smaller data type smaller data type is been converted into larger or big data type here also you can see char is smaller than int that's why the conversion was possible the conversion came out to be practical so that's why it was able to convert this a into 65 because character is a small data type as compared to this int in data type okay now what happens in explicit type conversion okay what happens in explicit type conversion let's see explicit type conversion you can say or some people say it explicit type or narrowing okay widening was we were calling implicit type as the widening because you can see the smaller data types were made to stretch out they were made to be more bigger bigger and wider so that they can store big values in that and here explicit what happens small data values are reduced they become small small more small let's take an example here what will be the flow chart here the float can be converted into long the long will be then converted into int and then int will be into char char into short and short into byte so you can see from the previous implicit and explicit here we were converting the smaller data type to the larger but what is happening here we are converting the larger data values to the smaller data values okay so you can see here also in the picture let's take a very easy example of this explicit type conversion and this conversion needs to be done by the programmer it is not done by the compiler the programmer needs to do it okay so let's take a very easy example here let's take double z 
is equals to let's take double here i am myself giving what data type i want to be converted into and then let's say x and y and here i am giving x the value as let's say x is equal to 10 and y let's take okay let's take 3.1 um, okay we need to take a integer value so my bad i just wrote here it will be let's say 3 only so 10 divided by 3 whatever be the value okay let's take a perfect it will be what 3.33 so this will be double value and it will be stored into z had it been y be 5 so we know 10 divided by 5 gives you 2 so it will be a perfect number a perfect integer number so this now 2 will come so it can store directly 2 but we said no you need to convert it into double so it will be what 2.0 rather than 2 it will be 2.0 this is what explicit type conversion because i said no i don't want integer value i want a double value so it give 2.0 rather than giving 2 here Okay, so let's have a quick run here also and let's see what's happening in the console and what's happening here. Let's go here and let me widen the screen for you. We were having a program integer value int value as 8 and then what I did, I just give this integer value into the double value, okay, in the variable name as double. So I what I did, I just put the integer value into a double data type. Okay, so this was what a automatic type casting will be done which will be widening because integer value now will be given into double and here we will get the output as 8 and in int double we will get in this value double what we will get 8.0 because integer value is being converted here and it is given as 8.0 let's see will it run or not widening will it widen or not Okay, so here is my console. Let me bring out the console to all of you and let's see out the console here. So, here, um, where is the console? Which, um, okay, I need to open the console again. It's not here. So, here is the console and you can see the values. First is the integer value as it is and second is the double. You can see the value has been doubled. It has been made into to 8.0 okay so this was done this was done by the program by the compiler itself i didn't did anything okay i was not allowed to do anything it, the compiler itself did the needful task now let's see the manual casting or explicit type casting in this what i did what i took a double data type value that is 7.8.79 and then i need to cast it into integers so i did it forcefully by myself so i wrote here int within brackets and then the variable name value double so what happened now only 8 will be given to the integer value only int int value this integer value only will be given to this variable value int okay because we are doing it forcefully so there will be a little data loss because i have already told you in explicit we are narrowing it is a narrowing casting because larger data type are being converted into smaller data type and when this will happen we will have a loss of data and you can see 8.79 we only got 8 so 7.79 was lost so this is simply i will just run it again for you and you can see these are the values this is example of sim explicit type casting or narrow narrowing casting whatever you want to say so these things are very easy i hope now you will be able to implement in your own program also let's meet in the next video